Hello everyone, I'm sorry about that. What? And hopefully the OBS won't crash this time. Oh man, what a problem. It might just be this computer. But anyway guys, I'm the panda photographer. You know me as Kiki Alexander. And I'm a photographer that travels a lot to do my portraits and my landscapes and my time lapses and my concerts and my event photography. I travel and people like yourself fellow photographers or new photographers help support channels like this by hitting that subscribe button and sharing the content and leaving a comment and supporting the channels by reading the descriptions down below but today we are going to talk about concert photography because I really wanted to share how I shoot concert photography and you might have a similar uh, situation where you're trying to find information about how to shoot it should I bring a speed light or should I shoot manually and well I'm gonna tell you the truth the truth is it's based on your taste it's based how you shoot but I do shoot without a flash because most concerts have lots of light and lots of stage but I mean stage light so with that said let's get into the intro and let me just get into it So guys, if you guys are new to the channel or have been to my channel, please let people know that I have a website at 646studios.com. I have tutorials on how to protect your work, working for free, shoot you, portrait photography tips, composition tips, night photography, astrophotography, shooting fireworks, and a lot more understanding ND filters and a lot more. I also have my portfolio with my social media links on the top, below on top here. When you go to my Instagram, I'm more active on that. Over a thousand followers there. But with that said, I want to get into uh, how I shoot concert photography. Now, as a uh, as a photographer that travels a lot and tries to capture a lot of a lot of uh, moments in time, because these moments are just not re possible to replace. But as you can see. Uh, this is one of the shots. I'm just going to show you like three or four shots, but these are just the shots that I've taken so you guys get a good glimpse of how I use my camera and a low light situation. And what I do is I set my ISO at a certain ISO point, like ISO 6400 or 800. And uh, normally I would use f5.6 or f5.0 160 of a second 150 of a second and as you can see I, tr I use my minimum 18 mil to try to fit the whole band into the shot i did crop and i know i see in the past videos that should fill the frame and this is a good reason why you should fill the frame because you might need to crop just slightly but uh that's what i did you can see that i used the eight the sigma 18 to 35 art lens uh but you can see it where uh, I used to light the stage light to my advantage. Now, I technically I had the speed light on top of the camera and TTL, and somehow the contacts were not connecting to my Sony A77, and I did use comp uh, my exposure compensation and a misfire where I got this shot, and that's when I realized let me just not use the flash. And just let me shoot natural light and that's what I did and you can see where this is I'm, this is a slightly ed slash not ed version but here's the ed version where they see a lot more vignette and the corners and on the bottom here to make it look more dramatic make that light uh, the stage light look a little bit more dramatic towards the subjects that are in the frame which is giving it a really like a silhouette or a low light situation shot but I would call this really successful. It's not the sharpest because, I mind you, I shot everything manually, manually focus, manually uh, do everything by hand. No autofocus, no auto ISO, no auto IS aperture. So, with that said, here's another shot. I wish I had a telephone lens for this shot, but I did not 
have it but I use what I had which was 35 mil as you can see here now this is the before shot this is the after shot now not much was changed I didn't want to do anything but it's not really focused I'm not sure if this was I would call this successful but I would call this usable for social media circumstances that is it but I think it's a good shot it's a good attempt but if I would have had a telephoto lens like a 7200 I, I would have nailed the shot pretty much but you can see where they adjust the lights and I try to capture based on the the light the light trickery they trying to play off here I, I did pretty well to capture it but not close enough and like I said one sixth of a second is not good to freeze everything but it was decent enough but here's a good example now this is a before now you can see that it's unedited you can see that uh, use a Sigma 1835 18 mil I try to get everyone in the frame there is a drummer which you just saw but how I shoot these concert photography is I let all that light through my lens so take advantage of that light and I definitely recommend if you guys are really interested in other categories in photography that I do recommend trying to do other like time lapses or night exposures or day exposures or portraits or try to do a little bit small weddings before you get into the big weddings because they can be a massive choose of issue in your life especially a lot of workload lots and lots of workload but I find concert event photography much easier to work with easy to get the shots that you want at but you can see here I would call this a very successful shot because it's shot you can see the raw uh, stuff with curls and the bench press you can see that shirt clearly enough and this is very successful but you can see very vibrant very the, the vibrance is up by 14 percent even the saturation is up but you can see the the edit version is much brighter much vivid much more color to it and just wanted to show you some of these uh, images here and I really do apologize by the live stream I'm not sure it's, it's lasting I'm, I'm paying attention to my iPhone to make sure that is still going on but uh, the next shot is let me show you the before this is the before everyone the before is pretty much right out the camera I use uh, like I said using my uh, exposure compensation to, to my advantage and uh, ISO uh, six, uh, six, 640 160 of a second it's pretty damn sharp not as sharp as I would like it to be but that's a sharp image and it's really hard to actually manual focus and try to follow your subject especially on a stage and that did pretty well I have to say I did pretty well now I know this noise can come down just a bit so what we're gonna do here is just bring down an amount of 33 0.9 the 27 and just just bring it to minimum it should work very fine and we should have yep a better clean image it's a better clean image from before as you can see and like I said I'm, I'm not a professional photographer I'm an enthusiast so I do tend to jump in and out of categories a lot but here is the edit version more of a vintage look 70s film look because the outfit matched I knew what I wanted to do with this photo I knew exactly how I wanted to add a little bit of like noise grain and a little bit of that film look you can see I've added the black dots to make it look like a really authentic film look but I really appreciate that you guys are tuning in and watching this and saying to yourself that maybe I want to get into event photography or concert photography and yeah it's a pretty fun category to get involved with make sure that if you are doing event photography have business cards ready so you can give to these nice folks that you take pictures of so they can follow you and maybe they can hire you the next time when you do concert photography or portrait photography or whatever photography that you do
make sure that you have some type of information ready to give to someone know how to use uh, airdrop on your phone send people your information let you know that you're a photographer and they airdrop uh, data or information drops in the iPhone or Android phone whatever that may be but this is the panda photographer from 646 studios thank you for watching and if you guys have any questions on which I'm looking at the live because I had a bunch of people here in the lab last live stream before I went dead I don't see anyone in here now but just wanted to show you guys how I take concept photography photos and as I said I'm not a professional just an enthusiast and this is how I add and you guys are wondering how I add my photos I use Lightroom and I use Nick collection and sometimes Photoshop for my portraits most of the time I use Photoshop and Lightroom Nick collection and Photoshop for my portraits but with that said thank you for watching subscribe like share don't forget to support the links down in the description below but with that said eat sleep photography videography and repeat and I'll see you guys in the next video you guys take care happy shooting